Snapshot Eye is back on TikTok. So much, yet so little has happened. And after getting his account permanently banned, uh, he's back. He's back. He's back. Hello, my bubs. Hello, everyone. Your favourite silly goose here. Like the video if you're feeling silly. You subscribe if you're feeling goofy. Snapshot Eye, after getting banned on TikTok and after being accused of many a thing. Did you ever try and kiss you? Um... Yeah. I thought he maybe would have took annual leave, but then again, he doesn't have a job. And he did what anyone else would do and went on another UK tour. Who's done more UK tours? Paul McCartney or Paul Breach? We both know the answer and it looks like a piece of Billy Bear ham. His face looks like somebody's put an iron on it. I don't know how that's even possible. He's got a big streak of red down his face like he's Kratos. Kratos has literally murdered thousands upon thousands of people and I'd feel safer with him. She said, green, green, green. Paul Breach in Cumbernauld. Why does he keep on going to all these very niche places? What? Said, green, green, green. Oh my god. I've just been jump scared by green, green grass. It's like I've got schizophrenia, but the only voice I hear is George Ezra's voice. Paul Breach doesn't have a single TikTok dance where he needs to be in Cumbernauld. And trust me, once you go to Cumbernauld, you don't come back the same person. That'd probably be a good thing for Paul, actually. Remember when his account got banned and then he said, I'm off to see the world. Hi, I'm going to go see the world. By the world, he meant... Cumbernauld. I must have missed that one on Jet 2 Holidays. He's also went to about 17 shopping centres since he's been banned, which is a bit ironic considering that man wears the same outfit everywhere he goes. And he always wears that massive bag. Where is he going? Duke of Edinburgh? I mean, he would fit right in with the demographic. And he actually got arrested on one of his tour locations. Sorry, probably should have mentioned that a bit sooner. The police literally had to escort him home. And I bet you're thinking, Lewis, who called the police on him? himself. Nice of Paul to hand himself in. In reality, he actually claimed to be getting mobbed outside a fish and chip shop. Sorry Paul, that's just a cue. I'm sorry Paul, that was a joke. It was actually far worse. <laughs> There's no need to put the music that loud on a TikTok, is there? That there, there just isn't. <laughs> But yes, that was kids shouting hot chalky walkie at him. Hot chalky walkie. Hot chalky walkie. And I know you already want to comment, Lewis, they might have been scary and intimidating. Yes, you are correct. They were seven foot tall. If you added their heights together. What a waste of police time. As if he had no other choice. If only there was a mode of transportation that you could phone somebody and they would come pick you up. That's right, they're called the police. According to Paul. Can you just imagine that conversation between the police and Snapshot Eye in a police van? The idea of Paul just munching on fish and chips whilst explaining to the police officers that he goes live with teenagers and does TikTok dances for a living, it makes me giggle. I'm not giggling, but inside, lot, lots of giggles in there. Oh, to be a fly on the wall or a fly on the dashboard of the police van, should I say. But whilst he was gone, he did get caught up in some drama. Shock. Where he invited a 19 year old OnlyFans girl to do some photography and stare at his Airbnb. And he did rightfully get hounded for it. The girl was more than half his age. But his excuse for doing this is one of the, the funniest things he's ever done. Because I'm not a professional photographer with a studio, with expensive equipment, with green screens, lighting, makeup and everything. When somebody who does some modelling, wants me to try and take some pictures of her outside, um, some shots of her fully clothed, um, it's not allowed, it's wrong. Even though she's 19 and can make her own mind up if she wants these photos, take them. But because I'm not deemed a professional photo photographer because I use my phone, it's not allowed. Paul, you could have just resolved all of this by just saying no. If that was a 19 year old guy that DM'd him asking for a photo shoot, do you think he would have even responded in the first place? No. no. Paul, do you know who was also an amateur photographer that didn't have a studio? Do you know who also would take photographs of people and invite them back to his place? Jeffrey Dahmer. Now, I'm not making comparisons between the two, but I definitely know who I'd feel safer in a room with. And he doesn't look like a piece of Billy Bear ham. And he's dead. So.
not really saying much. There's a, it seems like there's a bit yeah. of a respect between them. They don't ever mention each other, really. But Him and this 19-year-old girl have been going back and forth on TikTok. It's all a bit messy, but one thing I find so funny is why are her texts that big? Have you got cataracts at the age of 19? Look at the size of that font. But why is this all happening? Still, for some reason, I thought after he got banned, the somewhat arrest, I thought that he would maybe, you know, just chill out a little bit. But no, he, he, he won't go away. He's like an STD, which ironically he apparently gave to someone. There's a girl obviously accusing you of giving her an STD, which is probably completely untrue. But wait. Babs, babs. Please stop saying Babs. And judging by that leaked photo of him, <laughs> I think he does too. It was redder than my sunburn. If that pick was him, by the way, absolute place batting. This has all happened in the space of like one or two weeks, by the way. Th this stuff is it just crazy. It is all like we're living in a sitcom, The Truman Show, and Snapshot Eye is the main character. And he's made a new TikTok account already, and it's already got nearly 600,000 followers. And I bet you're wondering what Elias he went with this time. Snapshot Eye? Beauty Beyond the Eye? Paul Breach? No! Beauty beyond the- Hey, hey, hey! He added Spongebob's laugh on it for whatever reason. Hey! I, 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 I'm sorry. My vocal cords just took a bigger beating than his dignity. Don't forget to book a cameo and join the Insta. If we already didn't know that he was 43 years old, that just gives it away. Join the Insta. It's not a Facebook group chat. Or a cult. Or in your case, it might be. His following list generally looks like a GCSE studying group. Green, green grass, blue, blue sky. <laughs> this man and this song are literally inseparable. Do you think George Ezra sees this in his nightmares and wakes up in sweats? I wonder if Paul wears pyjamas. Probably Batman ones. Or he definitely wears them like tartan ones that are far too big for him. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually sleeps in that outfit we always see him in. I've never seen him go a full 24 hours without wearing that jacket. No wonder his face is red. He's bloody roasting all the time. So go on Paul, show us your PJs. Oh don't actually, I, I don't know why I said that. Lord it up when the sun comes down, get away, up to young lovers. Me and the girl straight out of town, over the hills and undercover, undercover, undercover. She said, green, green grass, blue, blue sky, you better throw a party on the day that- This man literally thinks he's a kid. Nobody looks good in a cap. Who do you think you are? 50 cent? 50 cent coin signed by 50 cent. It doesn't matter your age, nobody looks good in a cap. And I'll prove it, watch this. How do you do, fellow kids? It looks like I'm wearing a condom on my head. Unless you're some hip-hop sensation from 2007, don't wear a cap. To be fair, Paul does more tours than a hip-hop artist. Although I can't remember the last time Snoop Dogg did a gig in Cumbernauld. Does he generally think he looks cool? Like he looks like Tony Hawk in this? Tony Hawk, more like... Tony... Red Cock. <laughs> That's it, guys. Subscribe for more jokes like these. When he wears a cap, he looks like them weird alpha male, like, crypto influencers. Good morning, guys. Try for the day. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I've just ran three marathons and two triathlons, and I'm not even done. If I can do it, you can do it too, guys. Come on and invest in my new cryptocurrency. Take off the cap, Paul. You're not you when you wear the cap. I reckon when he takes off that cap, it speaks back to him like the Green Goblin mask. Coward. We have a new world to conquer. Come on, Babs. You know you want to, Babs. Come on, Babs. Come on, Babs. Put me on, Babs. Teenagers will find you attractive. Fine, I'll wear it. You could land an aeroplane on that tongue. It reminds me of, I don't know if any of you have seen that, that cat on TikTok. They get Mel and the cat to like sniff stuff and the cat just hates everything. Look. The cat bloody hates it. Started to cry, but then remembered I I can buy myself flowers. Do, 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 do. Write my name in the sand. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Talk to myself. See, when he's with someone of the opposite gender, he loves, loves to remind the world that he's with somebody. Congratulations, Paul. You have finally found someone that will consensually spend time with you. What is... What's that dance? To be fair, that is exactly what I do when I'm struggling to open a jar. <laughs> Paul, when it says, give a shake before serving, they don't mean... <laughs> I love how the, the girl was wearing gloves too. Oh, Paul, I wonder who that is. 
Michael Jackson. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they do have a lot in common. They both like dancing. What did you think I meant? Started to cry, but then remembered I. I can buy myself flowers. A relationship only works if you both put the same energy into it, otherwise, time to dip. I mean, Paul, it's quite hard for them to put in the same energy when they've got exams to study for. If we ever broke up, I'd never be sad. Thinking about everything that we had. If we ever broke up. Me, 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 me. If we ever broke up, I'd call your dad and tell him all the things you said if we ever broke up. Woke up and choose sassy. Tell that one to the police, Paul. Oh wait, he has. Tell that one to the court. Sorry, your honor, I was just feeling sassy. If we ever broke up, I really need to know if he sings these lyrics or not. Like, I really need to know if he's actually like belting out these lyrics or if it's just like, green, green grass, blue, blue sky. I crocheted pool. Very. <laughs> I mean, it's a great gift for kids. One of two, what's the other one? Oh, you do not want to see the second one. Made this short film about Paul, hope you like it. How are you gonna fit 43 years of that man's life into 34 seconds? Highlight the fact that in the last two and a half years of social media, I have met a grand total of seven people. Two and a half years, he's met seven people. No wonder he likes to tell everyone when he's with someone. To Paul, it's not a social gathering. It's a celebration! I bet he has national days for them in his calendar. National Sophie Day, National Grace Day, National Mark... Actually, he would never hang out with a male. Paul, it's dinner time. Are you coming? Three of which have been in their 20s. Two of which I've been in a relationship with. Paul... Girl, I spend money like it's on me, nothing besides I got a thing for you. I see you winding and grinding up on that pole. Why did you have to crouch down for every TikTok? Could you imagine if I did that for every video? Oh god, now I have to do it, don't I? Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Yes, I'm wearing shorts. This is my channel, I can do what I want. What are you gonna do? Arrest me? Yeah. Put me in a cell with Paul Breach. I mean, the offer is there, Paul. We could play four in a row. Normally, you prefer four teenagers in a row. Just the board games for today, not the mind games. Dun, 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 dun. You don't know what's coming, do you? If I have to go to the store security because some of you don't know the proper decorum of how to act in a public place. If you're wondering why he's saying that, it's because of this TikTok. Paul complaining, he's being harassed by the invisible. Man. Nobody. Incredible. My favourite part is that the security guard won has no hands. And two, he does not care. He's just giggling away. He's like, mate, I don't get paid enough for this. Give me some of that cameo money, Paul, then we're talking. I'd also be laughing if someone was talking to me, going like this, I'm being harassed, can you help me out? Strange. I thought Paul would love being surrounded by teenagers. If I have to talk to shopping centre security, because so, some of you can't show decorum or how to act in a public place, then I will. Boom! Why does he talk like he's in a pantomime? Just relax the arm. Get some sedatives or something just to take it down a notch. Breathe. Maybe that's why his face is so red, because he's just tense all the time. If you be the cash, I'll be the rubber band. I'm sick and tired of singing. Ooh, this is like the sixth TikTok song. I've had to do please like and subscribe, please, please. Oh, I'm fed up. Oh yes, we've got someone here and they don't want to be on camera, so we've just got their shoulder. Green, green grass. I'm all right with an eye, I'm stuck in. 